What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. Hopefully, everybody's doing great today. Happy Saturday, by the way. I'm going trucking soon. I'll be there in the trenches with you guys very soon. But for today, I'm going to be answering a subscriber's question. And these questions are trucking related questions. And I hope this question helps you, mother truckers, out there as well. Now, for today's question, let me let me look at what this mother trucker asked me real quick. Hi Asian Mai. Quick question. A few months ago I had to pee really bad and I parked on the side of the road and took a piss. A cop pulled over and gave me a ticket for loitering. What should I do next time? You know what, mother trucker? This is a very good question. Next time, use a god dang toilet. That's all I have to say about that because truth be told, I've actually gotten a ticket myself for peeing on the side of the road, not in my truck, but in my car, and I got a thousand dollar ticket. When those signs say, if you litter or loitering, and it says minimum a thousand dollars or whatnot, I lived in California at the time, it is 100% true, went to court, had to pay a thousand dollars, no ifs, buts, or ands about that. So next time, try to use a bathroom, right? Now, I know that's the simple answer, but a lot of times what happens if you are not next to a, a rest area, you're not near a truck stop, you're in the desert, you're 300 miles away, and you don't have one of those beautiful, you know, extended cabs that has a toilet in it. What do you do? You pee in your truck. That's what you do. And, and I'm not talking about you know, cut out a hole and pee in a truck. I've seen that by the way. But what I'm talking about is a pee bottle. That's what you should use. Now, um, if you don't know, let's look at it. Right now on Amazon, I'm not here to sell you anything, okay? I'm not here to sell you anything at all, I promise. But if you're a female trucker, they have these female urination devices. Uh, these little uh, pink uh, thing right here that goes over the vagina and then you just pee. Now, I don't recommend peeing with the truck running or you driving or anything like that. You better be parked somewhere safely while you're doing this, okay? Now, for men, uh, they got different kind of pee bottles, okay? Now, you're looking at between $9.99 to $22. For that female one right there, $9.97. Jesus, that's a lot of money. That's too much money, all right? You're, you're, you're trying to save money on the road, and trucking can get very, very expensive. So, yeah, you don't want to go this route, all right? And so I, I have some alternatives for you and what you can do. First off, I will talk about what men can do okay because me being a man myself i have been in this scenario a few times so if you find yourself where you have to use a pee bottle i know it's sounding like a lot of tmi right here you know but uh it's the truth you, you don't want to loiter you don't want to pee on the side of the road this is what you do all right boom this right here I'm not sponsored by aquafina but you're gonna use the the water bottle, okay? I'm gonna block this. I, I don't want them. I don't want them to make free money off of me. All right. And, and what you're gonna want to do is, uh, you're you're gonna want to make sure there's no water in it, okay? That's the first step because if you got a lot of pee, I've done this before. If you drink it halfway down and then you have a lot of pee, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. I, I don't even know what's called. Pinch the pee hole, right? of the wiener schnitzel and uh basically grab another water bottle and pee in it now this is important for men i know it sounds like a joke but when you pick your pee bottles all right it's gonna take time to become masterful at this it's it's not one thing that you learn at a time there are many days of myself getting pee on myself because i wasn't a straight shooter not like i am now i could give you some tips okay First tip I would say is uh, uh, with the water bottle because this is this is free 99 per se. You're gonna drink the water first, all right? You're gonna open up the bottle. Now you're gonna put the wiener schnitzel. I'm trying to stay monetized here. You're gonna put the wiener schnitzel not inside. Now if you can fit the wiener schnitzel inside the bottle, good for you. But 
if the circumference around doesn't have any space, then there's not going to be any air. And when you try to pee, it's going to explode out. I'm not saying that's what happened to me. It's just mathematics and science here. So what you want to do is actually you want to open the water bottle, right? And then you want to, it's going to sound gross, people. The, the, the wiener schnitzel, uh, pee hole, I, I guess, right? Right. You're going to want to open that up. All right. I don't know. how. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it, but you, you get what I'm saying. You open it up, right? So it, right here, if, if it's the lips right here, going to open it up and then you're going to, sh- you're going to put it, the wiener sits so close enough and then shoot it inside. That's what you're going to do. Okay. Now, if you're one of those guys are boasting like, oh, my wiener schnitzel is so huge, there's no way that I could pee in this. Well, guess what? There's round number two. You can use a Gatorade bottle, all right? Now, Gatorade bottles have a bigger circumference for those guys that say that they need it. Really, you just don't. It's just that you don't have uh, enough laser focus. It's, it's going to take time, right? But here's a recommendation for all you people that are thinking about using a Gatorade bottle as your uh, your pee bottle. Don't use lemon lime. Make sure you use some kind of Azul Blue Cherry or something like this. I can't tell you how many times, because lemon lime's my favorite, right? But it looks like, it looks like pee, all right? And you don't want to gauge and be like, did I, did I already pee in that bottle or not before I drink it? And it's, it's, it's almost happened to me, okay? So, if you're going to be using one of these bottles, again, I'm not promoted by Gatorade or anything like that. Um, make sure you use another fruit of full color, maybe a red, a cherry, a ice blue, a fierce thirst, a blue cherry. But don't stay away from lemon lime, all right? Because that could get confusing. Now, that's for the men out there. So, for women... All right, like we like we saw, it's it's gonna be a lot harder for you to to shoot right into the bottle, and and I do have some experience with this because Jenna went with me on the road. When she went on with me on the road, there were times that she had to pee and I could not stop. So, you know, I was thinking at first, hey, we're gonna have to go out and buy one of these, you know, uh, bottles right here for you know female urination bottles and spend an extra eight ninety nine. Right, but um, I wasn't gonna do that. So, what we did instead was, we went and when I was at Walmart, I saw one of these truck funnels. Right, this one is a uh, uh, clean, okay, but basically she used this, put it, you know, like I don't know, but in in the front of a, you know, and then she put the the thing in the bottle, and boom, there you go. And before that, when she couldn't do that, what she would do is she would actually just take a piece of paper. Now make sure it's a tough piece of paper. Use a couple pieces if you have to. And then she would make like some sort of like funnel out of this. Let me see my skills. Let me see my skills here. Yes. So right there. If she would have to go bathroom real bad, <clears throat> she would make a funnel, stick this in the water bottle, right? And then be good to go you know make sure not to get a paper cut that can happen as well so I know this was extended I know there was too much information on this one but overall try to use a toilet or if not use a pee bottle you know get the funnel if you're a woman if if there's other ways for you to do it maybe I don't know I saw Jenna use a cup one time um, let me know in the comments below because this is some real stuff. I don't want you to have to spend a thousand dollars again because a thousand dollars for peeing on the side of the road gets really expensive. Okay, so hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Uh, if not, then um, I'm sorry, but Mother Trucker, hopefully I answered your question. Thank you, appreciate you, and have a blessed day. Peace.